Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here with more liminal spaces. This time I'm on r slash liminal spaces instead of r slash liminal reality. Where was r slash liminal space? Oh, it's space. Okay. My bad. It's basically the same thing. It's just pictures of places that give off this sort of feeling that a lot of people would, would I'd like to describe as a liminal space. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Here's a little walk through Grandma's neighborhood. Empty a field between all the houses. Kind of uh, of creepy. There's a bus station at about 7 p.m., but it just looks really, really weird. Something in someone made in Unreal Engine 5. Looks very nice. It's basically a huge room with a few pillars and it's got water all over the uh, floor. They use a VHS cam filter while driving through the planes to capture this. My goodness, does it look like it? A smoking room in a 1970s style hotel in Cyprus. Looks interesting. With it being so empty, it kind of looks eerie and uh, Unsettling. Just that. Literally my yard. There's just two sheds, and then, oh my goodness, there is nothing for just about till the horizon. Then you can see a little, little tree line in there. And this doesn't really count. There's like nobody around. My hotel's basement. Basements are always creepy. Yeah. Really unsettling. It even has like kids play stuff and and that feels weird for some reason. It's so much empty space and here's a nice um road leading into a corridor beautiful <sighs> a small and pointless is mezzan and a floor where I work. Apparently, this is also called a half landing. Never seen anyone that's in those chairs. I love it. Honestly, I'd probably sit in chairs just to ooh, ooh, be in them. An empty Walmart. Dear Lord, that is terrifying. Trapped in the cinema. As you can see, it's terrifying. Red Theater Hallway! The red ed rooms are not quite as terrifying, but I can get that 
red is a little bit unsettling because it is literally in our primal brains to avoid it think of avoid it having the color red happen around us we try to avoid it's stuff like our red stuff coming out of our body um parts of our bodies suddenly turning red is a sign of something bad they put a mirror in front of a mirror link to this And now we get to see another hallway. This one is also pretty creepy. Terrifying. A duck stares into the darkness of its suburban neighborhood. I mean, at that point, it doesn't really... It, it duck kind of actually ruins it. The hallway of my new apartment building. Why does it just suddenly... go dark? That is really creepy. Metro stations are rarely it is empty. No kidding. I think that's one of the things like stuff like 2020 and stuff happening really made a lot of uh, normal places into liminal places just by them being so empty. Parking lot in an office. Another example of that here. Sand. Just a desert and it's just sand. After hours at the Children's Museum. This is a classic feeling of, of uh, liminal spaces. It's just a place, a picture of a place. It, it's... Is that you know at the wrong context? Like, imagine if, if someone were to send you a picture of a, like, school, but it's nighttime. I actually went to school at night once. Had to for a school thing. It was still very unsettling. Whew. Oh, just a pool room at night. I think there's a reason why pool rooms are usually closed at night and have a lot of hot hotels and stuff. Now there's a really creepy locker room. A Halloween house. <laughs> My hometown's Taco Bell in 2008. My goodness. I haven't seen chairs that uncomfortable in a while. But yeah. Just how empty it is is really e e creepy. Oh. I thought you did this to me. Wow, that is uh, terrifying. Restricted parts of an old mall. Here we have a staircase leading down into another room. The creepiest part about this is kind of how dark these places are. 
It's always going to give off the wrong feeling when you can't see too well. Like you just climb straight into the void. Beautiful. That's just a door. That looks more like a hazard than anything else. That looks like a doorbell. Hazards up ahead and this kind of of a emptyish area. Oh, another picture of that same staircase. The staircase really, really fits here. And so there's the ladder and this. A quiet, lonely bus stop. We have some vending machines. It's so dark over there. I mean, other than it being empty, it's not that bad. Please, way to be. Dear Lord, that is an uncomfortable thing to see. Transitional tunnel at shipment and tub. Oh yeah, that is terrifying, and I can't wait for you to get chased by a monster down there. Have fun with that, OP. There is no one here. Mm -hmm. Visit my towns or close off urban beach area and got weird vibes. Those are some kind of weird vibes. Liminal safe space. What does that even mean? <sighs> A bad end petrol station. Wow, yeah, that is terrifying. Well, they were old at 9 p.m. in a supposedly busy city. Not very busy if there's no one there. No, I'm kidding. Hey, the last day of school. That's always a good feeling. I'm gonna make this one the last one. Night trip in the countryside. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. Alright, I'm glad to end the video here. That, uh, uh, that's creeping me out. So, if you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have like two episodes left of Neon Genesis Evangelion to watch, and then I can finally make the review, hopefully tomorrow, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, I might take some time to process what, I'm, what I've been watching. But I will be making a video Oh, of something tomorrow. For now, and until then, it's time for me to say goodbye.